Um, in this video, I'd just uh, like to talk a little bit about miracles and the presence of God or the level of consciousness. And I remember listening to a Hawkins uh, DVD and he was telling someone like uh, who was having a very, very difficult time with his family that uh, they should do whatever they can, go to meetings or whatever to uh, connect to a higher vibration. And he was talking about 12 step meetings in this case. Uh, and, um, and I really, really got what he said. It's like my survival, uh, the grace or the miracles only come from um, the level of consciousness or the, the experience of that infinite stillness um, and how profound it is. That's the only thing that looks after me. It's not my thoughts or taking actions in the world. And it was really um, has been the source of so many miracles that the only thing I need to focus on is just experiencing this infinite consciousness. And then everything else in life arranges itself miraculously. And um, I mean, I go to 12 step groups even now, and you know, the, the, the projection of an addict in ego, or a, an ego addict, shall we say, is that if I control something or do something out there or get something from out there, whether it's a person, place, situation, or food, that there'll be more peace, happiness, and miracles, rather than in transcending that idea or that projection and having it dissolve in neutrality and into nothingness, and then having more miracles because the ego is no longer making that magical projection. My ones were if I be thin, then I'll be happy if I eat that donut or if I get that girl, or if I become super, super successful with a lot of money, then I'll be happy, joyous and free. So to realize that's all illusory, illusory and a goose chase, uh, and it's just need to let all of that go by transcendence and the things I do, which you can search for on my YouTube channel, you know, feeling the feelings, letting, stopping labeling the world or uh, and, and just feeling out all repressed feelings, cancelling beliefs, I cancel my beliefs, cancel my belief I need to be thin to be happy, I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind, and uh, uh, so cancelling beliefs, feel the feelings, and the observer, so it's like, what am I, am I the body, no, there's an observing, a witnessing of the body, so that's not me, oh, the, this thought came, I need to be thinner, oh, but Am I this thought, or is there an observing of this thought? So in that way, by being the witnesser of my thoughts, my body, and the world, it starts to collapse the positionalities, the dualities of the ego, that it needs to good do or get anything from the world. As all the, uh, enlightened teachers say, there's nothing they need or want from this world. And then you know they're in that place, which is beyond... Uh, beyond the limited or the infinite or sorry, the finite or the timeless. So yeah, thank you.